Hey guys, it's Zach. Bank of Canada shared a fantastic study, very exciting, apparently about 50% of all variable rate fixed payment mortgages hit their trigger rate. That basically means they're only paying interest. I know that sounds like a large number, so if you see it on the news, the clickbait would be just like this video, 50% of mortgages are only paying interest. And you might be thinking that is pretty much 15 million Canadians that are just paying interest to the banks. And it's probably the beginning of mayhem. But let's put that number into perspective. One third of Canadians own their homes with no mortgage, which means they don't owe any money to anybody. The second third of Canadians own their properties and have a mortgage on it. And the last third are renters. Taking the people who own mortgages, only one third of those mortgages are variable rates. The rest, they're fixed rate, which means every time Bank of Canada increases the interest rates, it doesn't affect them in any way. Out of those who have a variable rate mortgage, 75% of them have a fixed payment and the rest have variable payment, which means every time the rate goes up, their payments increase. Increase. This study is looking at the 75% who owe money on a variable rate with fixed payments. 50% of those hit the trigger rate. That's about 13% of all mortgages in Canada. What does it mean hitting the trigger rate? So a mortgage usually goes like this. Let's take uh, the same example that Bank of Canada is giving us in their report. Somebody who owes 500,000, a portion of their payment goes to their principal and the other portion goes to interest. Over time, you start paying down the principal and this graph is a fantastic way of visualizing that. So let's say this was a fixed rate mortgage. Let's talk about a variable rate mortgage. Looking at this graph, the yellow portion is their principal payments and the blue portion is interest payments. You can see around March when Bank of Canada started increasing their policy rates. If you had a variable rate mortgage with a fixed payment, your payment split would start going from being more principal to less principal and more interest. And as time passes, you're going to reach a point where most of your payments is now going to interest demonstrated in the graph. Obviously, TIFF requested this study to be done because he's a numbers guy and he likes to quantify and visualize the number of Canadians he's screwing over. If you continue reading this report, and I'll put a link to that in my description, you will see this graph. Now, this graph shows if Bank of Canada was to increase their policy rate by another 50 basis points, the number of variable mortgages with fixed payment would be triggered would hit 65%. That would be about 17% of all mortgages. Now, you might be asking Zach 50 basis points. Is that it? We're done. This is one of the data points I used to predict the next uh, rate hike in my previous video. So if you want to see that, I'll put a link to that at the very end. So stay tuned for that. A ton of you subscribe to that video, which is absolutely absolutely great. Thank you so much for doing it. And since we're talking about rates, my subscriber count went up by 7%. There you go. So what happens when you hit the trigger rate? Great question. So there's three things that could happen when you hit the trigger rate. The first one is your bank or lender might just send you an email saying we've increased your payments by X dollars. Thank you so much. Number two, they might say, you know what, let's go into negative amortization. So what will happen is your payments will stay the same. However, since you're only paying, let's say $2,000, total interest is $2,100. We're gonna add $100 every month to your principal. So now your mortgage is going to start to grow. That is absolutely fascinating to me. The third option is your bank might call you and say, hey, listen, um, this is awkward, but you can do a lump sum payment and give us a little bit of cash or let's switch you to a fixed rate mortgage so that these rate hikes don't affect you in the future. So you might ask, why would Bank of Canada screw everybody over like this and increase the rates? What's the point of all of this? I know I paint tough and a bad light constantly on this channel. However, truth be told, we're friends. He's actually trying to help. You might be asking how? Let me explain. We live in a capitalist system, which is amazing. In fact, arguably it's the best. And if you understand the system well and you play it correctly, you can win. I will be making a video explaining how to play the game correctly so you can win. So make sure you subscribe to this. And if you're enjoying the video so far, we've been we've been through a lot together. Just tap the like button for me. I'll appreciate it. If you don't, there's a big chance YouTube will never show you my face again. Who was that guy? Go scroll to your history. Good luck finding me. You know how we all complain about Loblaws. They're making record profits, selling eggs for so much money. They're causing gas prices to go up. I have to say, as an investor, I'm very happy with that. Not 
not as a consumer though and not as an employee but as an investor i want them to have record profits loblaws is just a company the shareholders are canadians just like me and you of course as a consumer i want loblaws to give me everything for free and as an employee i want them to pay me so much money and in fact i don't even want to go to work but a company's duty is not to their employees, not to their consumers, it's to their shareholders. And you can be one. Well, guess what, Tiff? You may not like him. He's going after those guys. How does Bank of Canada do that? He cannot give Loblaws a phone call and say, hey, buds, you need to drop the prices or I'm going to be sad. That's not how capitalism works. What he can do is he can ask consumers to stop spending but it seems like you guys are not listening to him and you keep buying expensive stuff such as eggs and gas and disney plus subscriptions you don't need gas to drive your car you can push it you can let it roll you can uh use solar power i don't know do something the only thing bank of canada can do to control your spending is to increase interest rate and as you buy less companies will have to reduce their prices to get rid of the stock which would eventually help you but for the time being you might lose your house not be able to eat and uh, lose all your savings unfortunately that's how it works this is the video that i mentioned where i predict the interest rate hike uh, for december 7th and what i think will happen i think you will enjoy it so click here if you want to watch it for the rest of you who already watched that thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye